So I just want to give everybody an update of what's going on. I want to give everybody an update what's going on. I was driving in Pennsylvania. This was Sunday night. And my car started vibrating really bad. I couldn't get anybody to look at it until Tuesday morning, which is today. So I got somebody to look at to look at it, and it's a six thousand dollar repair. And I got two hundred twenty thousand miles on the car. The cost of the repair is worth more than what the car is worth. So I made some phone calls. I'm gonna get somebody to buy the car, uh, cash for cars, basically for a good price at least halfway decent and um, so I got to go back to Michigan to get my clear title make sure all the paperwork's correct now I got to come back to Pennsylvania to get rid of the car so I got to sit in a lot until Friday morning when I get back to Pennsylvania I'm borrowing a relative's car to come back here but here's the situation I'm at the Greyhound bus station right now this is the bus station here in Allentown just me and my stuff it's 9 50 p.m. something like that my bus is supposed to be here at 6 30 p.m. I've been out here since 2 30 p.m. waiting on my bus so I already knew I was on the street until for four hours I knew that so I got here at 2 30 p.m. ordered an Uber Eats right here on the street to get something to eat because they don't have nothing, the doors are locked. They, there's one person that showed up for a little bit, for like a half hour, then they locked the doors again. So these doors have been locked pretty much all day and they're gonna be locked all night. It's 9.50 p.m., my bus ain't here. It was supposed to be here at 6.30 p.m. here in Allentown. So I got a hold of Greyhound bus. There was a few people out here earlier waiting for the bus and they decided to get a hotel room. So I contacted Greyhound bus and they told me the bus is not going to be here until 3 a.m. <laughs> you got that right, 3 a.m. I'm literally on the street by myself in the suburbs of Philadelphia. I'm about 40 miles north of Philadelphia, Allentown. So I'm literally on the street until 3 a.m. by myself. This is not a good area either. Every once in a while a crackhead comes by, says some gibberish. Uh, there, was some, some, there was some homeless girl that came by here a little while ago. She looked like, I don't know where she was, she looked like she didn't know, where, didn't know where she was. Once in a while a bus comes by, drops a few people off. And I, there was a guy just out here, he just got off the bus, I guess his Uber or Lyft took him somewhere. Home or whatever. But... For, for the most part, it's just me. Until 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm literally on the street until 3 a.m. If you think you're going through hard times right now. And I got, into, I got into a few arguments with some patriots over some stupid stuff. They just don't understand what I'm going through right now. So, I mean, I tried to explain it to them, but... There was another situation going on and uh... Which I understand the concern, which I'm not going to go in details. But until you step in my shoes to realize what I'm actually going through, yeah. And I'm sure people have been in real bad situations before. but And I'm sure there's a lot of people in worse situations than me. But this is what I'm dealing with right now. So I'm literally on the street till 3 a.m. So, yeah. And also Twitter took two of my accounts uh, today, this morning, so there's that too. So I'm still on Twitter on another account, so every once in a while a car drives by hoping, so I'm just hoping that uh, I don't end up robbed or murdered by the time the bus gets here. So that's what I'm dealing with. So I've been praying to God and uh, just... Uh, I'm not asking for any remorse from anybody. I'm not asking for any sympathy. So, just trying to keep my head up, so. Yep, that's what I'm dealing with.